Hello, awesome friends. So, day one. Week one. <laughs> so, I guess, waking up now, I gotta get this started right away. I am at the gym, on the bike, exercising, being awesome, and being awesome, <laughs> and more awesome. And I'm almost done on the bike, I'm going to go on the machine soon, because I'm awesome, totally awesome, that's awesome. Everything Lots of awesome. Totally awesome. <laughs> Everything is super awesome. So today is Friday, day five. I haven't been able to work out for the past three days because I've been recovering from a seizure that I had on Tuesday. All day Tuesday, my muscles were fine from the workout on Monday, but after the seizures, my muscles just, they just started to hurt, and then the next day they were just, it was just too much. So, today is my day back to work, to working out, so I'm gonna do my best. So this is day seven. I am pumped. I'm pumped for the next week to come and uh, I know the first week hasn't really been that really active but I do plan on changing that and for this upcoming week and every upcoming week after that I am going to be pumped every day and I am planning on I'm just making this happen, you know, because I feel like this this has to happen for sure. And no matter what, even if I'm going out somewhere, like yesterday I went out to the movies, I, of course, I still eat healthy, um, even if it's still sort of junk food. I guess you consider Chipotle as junk food, but I... I had a vegan burrito, so that's that's not too bad. I didn't put any like dairy products or anything like that, so it definitely helps. Um, and I think what I should be doing is really showing that it's it's not really that difficult to be vegan in public because I know so many people they think oh it's so hard, but it's not hard. If you if you actually do it, then if you know how to do it then it's not hard at all and that's that's really one of one of the things that I want to prove is that it's not hard to be vegan when you're out in public like going out spending time with friends and also that there are so many different situations if you if you know you can't uh if you can't make it to the gym that day, you should you should like walk to wherever you have to go to. If you have like a meeting, walk to the meeting. Or if you um if you if you have uh like a hangout with friends, walk to there instead of instead of like oh, well, if it's something like uh, a whole huge distance you're not gonna walk like a whole marathon just to get to that place but obviously walking for at least half an hour is gonna help so um yeah that's uh, that, that those are my thoughts for today and when you want to be successful you gotta dress for success and you gotta remember that you gotta remember that successful people what they have that's different from unsuccessful people is a successful mindset 
and you have to change your mindset if you actually want to succeed in something. So that's what I'm doing. And and I'm making sure that I succeed because there is no other option. There's no option to fail. It's not an option to succeed. It just has to happen. Because I choose to have a better life. And this is this is how I'm going to get it. So, this is to end week one and to be ready for week two. And to be ready for what I have planned for myself. I feel I've never been more ready. So, look forward to that. And I will see you awesome people later.